I went to sleep at nine o'clock last night just so I could be energized this morning because I have some stuff to do. So I have a surprise for Harper. She's all the way home, so I have a surprise for Harper for when she gets home from school today. So that's what I'm gonna be working on while she's at school. So uh, we're about to leave to take her to school. I'm going to get her breakfast, put her snack in her book bag now, walk her to school, and then when I get back, we'll clean up the house a little bit and we'll get ready. We'll start working on her surprise. So I will see you guys in a little bit. For me, it's gonna be like 30 minutes. For you, it's gonna be like five seconds. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back, bye guys. <laughs> One of her Christmas gifts was that she wanted well her and my sister wanted a new bed so i ended up getting her a bunk bed um i got them a twin over full so harper would take the twin my little sister would take the full um i got the bunk bed it came literally like january 2nd so i had the bunk bed for a while but i was waiting for the mattresses to get delivered and because i'm collaborating with the mattress company law for the mattresses um i had to wait until like we signed an agreement um and like agreed to all the terms and conditions for the influencers and they shipped them out so they are supposed to get delivered today that's what my fedex says when i opened my email this morning so yeah that's my plan today so i did not know that my drexel email disconnected from my phone so right now there's 1300 well 1400 emails 100 1399 so i have to scroll through these and make sure nothing important is in here but yeah so that's what we're doing today that's on agenda so we're gonna clean we're gonna straighten up we're gonna put the bunk bed together hopefully the mattress the mattresses get here before harper gets here um but if not we'll just go pick up harper from school we won't let her in her room and then yeah we'll finish everything so that's my plan for today i need to like drink something eat something because my eyes are feeling like very heavy i don't know why but i'm gonna take care of some work on the computer really quick and then i'm gonna come back when i clean and we'll just clean together speed it up um, this is not a normal day for me everything except for like the bed assembly and all that but for the most part it's just me all day and the kid taking care of the kid so yeah so shout out to the single moms we do a lot we don't get enough credit oh uh, and I have to do my makeup because I don't want the mattresses to come and I have to film a video and I look crazy so yeah so I'm just gonna try to hurry up and get everything done hopefully by like 11 so I can start putting the bed together so I'll see you guys in a little bit that was not planned all right now this dog never shuts up now that we're done um working on the computer we're gonna clean i'm gonna clean the first floor i'm gonna try to straighten up the basement straighten up the laundry room and then that's that so let's get started let's put some music on and let's just get into our zone you know because my house isn't dirty it's just like super super messy so
like I wanna press my line, yeah. I wanna take that ride, yeah. I'm gonna press my line. I wanna be like I wanna be like I wanna press my. I'm a dear spare your feelings. I'm a living moment, feeling more residual. I build and burn and build and build and take your bitch, rebuild the building just to fuck some money, just to find my love for you and touch the sky. Forgot to stop the day tomorrow. So I finished cleaning. My camera died, and then I didn't feel like going to get my spare battery because it was all the way upstairs, and I was almost done anyways. So I'm upstairs now on the second floor, and I am about to start taking the kids' room apart. Fun. Yay, fun times. Um, so I'm just in my room really quick, like just making sure my room is clean before I do anything else. All right, so my back is killing me. I broke literally every single nail. Uh, my hand is killing me from twisting the thing. And I smashed my hand right here like four times, so whatever so let me show you guys so this is what it looks like i don't think this is a good angle this is what it looks like the ladder once i got it flipped around the ladder these parts were crooked so i had to sit here with a hammer and like pull it with all my freaking strength to straighten it and you know it's metal so it was hard as hell oh my mic just fell and then now i'm about to move that up because that was like the perfect height for the other beds but now i'm going to move it up so that it's kind of like a little night light but i'm going to put it basically like in the middle of that space so harper can see it and this is crooked and it's bothering me people with ocd see everything so yeah so we're gonna move the twinkle up hopefully fedex comes within like the next hour or so so that i can put the mattresses on before harp gets here um it is right now it's right now it's 125 so hopefully he comes at like at least two o'clock so i can just open them and put them on here and um that's pretty much it, but my back is killing me. So, I just slapped on some makeup. I <laughs> This is my first time wearing like strip lashes in literally, literally probably like a year. And oh my god, how do people wear these? They're so uncomfortable. They're like poking me in my inner corners. They're not even far in, but like I could just feel them. And it's annoying me. So, I'm about to hurry up and get this over with because I have to take this off like I can't. button my outfit choice obviously wasn't the best because I'm high Woo. <sighs> call me crazy 
But the twin was heavier than the fool. Like, oh my god. <sighs> I need a break. I'm sitting here on their bed. Oh my goodness. I'm so jealous right now. Like this is, it's literally so good. And I know it's not even done like expanding yet because it says it takes two to five hours for like to fully expand like, you know, like the corners and stuff. But just it expanding within like the, th the 20 minutes it's been I want to sleep on it I think I might sleep with Harper tonight because this is crazy it's like videos don't even do it justice that's the thing like it's so soft like it just like formed to every little nook and cranny in my body me I have neck problems so like it felt amazing it's soft but it's firm but it's comfortable but you know you're getting the support you need um i i wasn't expecting it but it was easy me doing this all by myself i got it in the house i got it up a flight of stairs got it in the room unboxed it by myself set it up on two different beds at two different levels and if i could do it anybody could do it but it's so freaking like i can't believe that <laughs> a mattress came in a box like a mattress got delivered to my door in a box. It is. We started at like 8 o'clock this morning. It is 5. Oh, 18. We've been doing this all day. Is the camera freaking at this point? I don't care. If you hear Harper, ignore her. So. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. I love it. It's giving me very big girl, but childish at the same time. I'm really happy with everything that came out. Um, the sheets and the bedding and stuff are from Amazon and they have like little pom poms on it. It's so cute. I just put like their stuffed animals and stuff on the bed. And if you were curious about like these lights, like the twinkle and the one that says this is Star Wars, they're from Restoration Hardware. But I'm just going to show you guys like the room really quick. Mind your business. I see you So I just organized everything down there. And here is the bed. And then there's the star that I was talking about. And I just put their dresser over there. So I'm gonna bring Harp in so we could get her reaction. Harper, come on. Come on, you can come see. Yeah. You didn't even look at it. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, excuse me, you got on dirty um, school clothes. Do you like it? 
You can't. No, get down. You have on dirty school clothes. I just washed your sheets. Get down. Okay, well, you have to take a bath first. You like it? What do you like about it? I just love it because it's so cute and beautiful. It's so cute and beautiful? Yes. You're so funny. You going to put on matching jammies so I can take pictures of you? Yeah. Harper is taking a bath, putting her jammies on. Come on, Harper, you done? You know, it's done. Yeah, I'm just so excited. You're so excited? Let me see. This look at my beautiful bum. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm scared. You're scared? Why are you scared? Because look. You can't jump on your bed. Why? Because. I'm going to film on my bed. Isn't it soft? Yeah. It's better than your other bed, huh? My other bed is not soft. You like it? I'm so scared. But, Mommy, when I'm tired, I'm not going to see. What? When I'm tired for school, I'm not going to see. See what? When I'm tired like this. <sighs> you like it? Now you can watch TV. Well, how? Because when you lay your head right here, you can see the TV. Let me sure up. Our YouTube channel. Welcome back to my show. <laughs> but I have to do it like this, and then I have to do it like this. Because why would I make his to do it like this, and I can't? What are you talking about? <laughs> see? Lay down. See? But when I want to turn this way, I want to. Girl. Hello. I look crazy. Oh, my God. My hair is not done. It was done yesterday. And then I slept with it, like, in a bun or a ponytail or something. I don't know. And it just looks crazy. But I just wanted to come out here today. Because, one, I'm trying to be more consistent with vlogging. Because what's the point? Like, if I'm going to... What was that? If I'm going to produce vlogs, I want to do them, like, at least on a weekly basis or something rather than only when I'm doing something if that makes sense if you guys hear Harper screaming in the background ignore her so I don't know what order you guys are gonna ignore the studio lights I don't know what order you guys are gonna see all of these videos that I have going up within the next two weeks because I now have uploading schedule of Wednesdays and Sundays I'm gonna try to stick to that for a few months and if I get comfortable with that and I feel good about it maybe I'll go up to three times a week like depending on the content that I produce but as of right now I'm gonna be doing every Wednesday every Sunday at 3 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and then um, if I like forget 3 30 it'll still go up that day like I always have them ready to be made public I just have to do like the Instagram slideshows and stuff for them um, I look so crazy because I don't have any lashes, but whatever. So, I just wanted to say thank you for all the love and feedback on my 17 and Pregnant video. Um, I wasn't ex expecting it to be that much of a turnout. I wasn't expecting all the DMs I got and I'm missing, well I'm not missing it now, but I took the color off and ignored that too. I wasn't expecting all the love that I got from it and I just really wanted to say thank you um, I said thank you in part two but I just wanted to make sure that I said it again because you know it's been days since I posted the video and I'm still getting DMs about it and it's from people that don't know me from a can of paint like they live in different countries and they live in different cities and you know I didn't make the video for sympathy because it's something that is so far behind me because it was five years ago but it is really something that really shaped me as a woman and as a mother and as a daughter and as a friend like I said and you know I'm not ashamed of it I mean at the time everybody thought it was so funny that I was going through that and you know I was hurt but I'm okay now obviously but it's just like I'm not afraid to tell my side of the story i don't care who else tells their side of the story because 
there's nothing else to say you know I'm a lot of things and I've done a lot of wrong in life and I made a lot of bad decisions and I've hurt a lot of people that I cared about but I did those things when I was young and not that my age was an excuse but I've never put that type of hurt out into the universe for me to get that hurt back so I just did it because I don't want anyone else that could ever be going through something similar to feel like they're alone and you know it always just takes one person to tell their story to make someone feel like they're in it with someone else so that's really why I did it and it's something that weighs heavy on my heart because it's always been like um nobody knows this about me but it's always been like a like a life goal of mine to basically talk to other girls that are like me and not like girls that went through what I went through but just girls who just feel like that's it like that's all they have after that is like they're pregnant you know um and I mean you know look at Justin Bieber's mom she had Justin Bieber when she was a teenager and look at him he was worth like 80 million dollars you know so I'm okay with being so vulnerable and sitting here and crying on the internet and telling my business and you know the crazy part about it is is I didn't even tell my business all the way <laughs> like I didn't I gave all the parts about me 100% but the other parts that were not just concerning me they were very much half because I was trying to be respectful and I didn't want to air out anybody else's demons you know and the fact that they took their demons out on me because I'm not c communicative I'm not um what's the word I'm looking for confrontational um I'm not a fighter and you guys have heard me say from day one on my YouTube channel that I just shrug my freaking shoulders and I'm still like that so people tend have always tended to pick on me like I was the weakest link because I just don't have I don't respond to anything you know and you know I was tired of making like feeling like my feelings didn't count or my feelings weren't justified or my feelings were I weren't entitled to them and that's why I made the video because it's my life like you know I went through it I made it through that and I didn't let it define me as a woman and as a mother so i'm not i'm okay with telling my story i honestly am i'm not ashamed of nothing that i've been through you know i'm not ashamed that i went through that i'm not ashamed that i've been cheated on in the past nothing absolutely nothing because every single thing that somebody else has done to hurt me has made me who i am and you know i received my blessings and i just wanted to say thank you again guys um because you guys are literally so sweet. I respect. I usually, I mean, I read all my DMs, or at least I try to. Hopefully, I don't miss them. But I've taken the time to reply to every single person that has reached out to me from this video. Um, it's around 300 DMs so far, but you know, I really have been dedicating a few hours during the morning and the afternoon and before I go to sleep to replying to you guys and not even just saying like thank you so much for watching like sitting there and having full-fledged conversations with you guys because i want you guys to know me and i want to know you guys and i want you to know that if you wanted to reach out to me and talk to me about anything you can let's just think of our little society here as one big group session one therapy thing you know i want it to be a safe place and i want you guys to know you're not alone and you know you may not have went through it but you may have felt my pain for me and for all of you that said that you pray for me and you know you admire my strength thank you because it took a lot of balls for me to post that because one like i said i've never been um one to put myself out there on the internet like i've never even had like a public relationship on instagram or anything yet and i was scared of how people were going to view it and then on top of that i just I didn't want to stir the pot with the other parties involved but you know I had to think about it and I just realized it's my story there are characters in the story but it's my story I'm the author I'm the one that went through it. it's from my perspective and you know it is what it is um, if people felt offended or if people felt any type of way my only response is guilt makes you too
and ever since I was young and you know I've been through a lot I've always said that nothing bothers you but the truth people could say whatever about you but you will not get bothered unless it's the truth so yeah I just really wanted to thank you guys so much and I mean you guys are gonna see my thank you in the part two of the video but I just really wanted to sit down more casual no makeup looking crazy I look chinky my face looks fat I'm breaking out but you know I don't care if I'm gonna do this you guys are gonna have to see me like this more often because I can't be wearing makeup every day just for the sake of YouTube um but yeah so thank you so much we're almost at a thousand subscribers that's so exciting um um also i just wanted to add if you guys ever know anyone that may be going through what i went through or is just a teen mom in general and wants to talk to someone that has been through it or you know talk to someone that doesn't know them feel free to direct them to me whether you want to give them my email or my instagram anything my snapchat even i open every single message on my snapchat just because i hate the notifications um so yeah just feel free to let them know that i'm here everything is obviously confidential i don't post my dms or anything um but yeah for all of you ladies that did dm me sweet things thank you so much you know you don't ever really think how much someone just needs to be like confirmation or reminded that everything's gonna be okay especially when it's strangers and it's when when it's strangers that are speaking good things into existence for you and they want good things to happen for you it's just nice i got a gift today from my boo I, we have to come up with a nickname for him guys because i don't like the word boo but that's what we call him on the youtube so we need to come up with like a name for him a little cool name oh, is my thing gonna stay look where am i taking don't mind all my laundry in the back i didn't get around to folding it yet so i got a little gift from my boo today happy tuesday to me all right so yeah i got a new gift from my boo so you guys gonna see what i got it's probably on instagram you already know what i got and snapchat but if you don't hey i am my my man is so good to me he loves me so much he misses me <laughs> obviously so i got a dior saddlebag it is the matte black one i don't even know what it's called i should probably look that up on the site but it is the all matte black so matte black hardware matte black leather and he got me the strap to match um we were supposed to go and buy it when i was still in amsterdam but things plans like just got complicated and then the sunday we were gonna go the store closed it wasn't open while i was there um because i had to catch my flight so yeah he got me this and he got it for me from paris and it got shipped here to me today it's so pretty i wasn't sure how i i mean i tried it on in the store that's how i knew i wanted it well i don't know i don't know i like the bag i'm not in love with the bag but maybe it'll grow on me but i did tell him i wanted it so and he loves dior he always has on dior and he carries the, the men's saddle. Well, sometimes he carries the men's saddle crossbody. So, yeah. I guess he wanted to be twins. I don't know. So, he picked this up for me. Um, I love this strap, though. The straps are, like, $1,000. Like, it's freaking ridiculous. Um, but, yeah. And the bag is, like, 4000 So, new bag alert. <laughs> new bag alert. New bag alert. Thanks, babe. Everybody was calling me. And, like, they were like, oh, so you have a babe now? like you're getting to your bags and going on shopping sprees and stuff I'm like yeah i deserve it you know um but okay i'm gonna close this here so i'm gonna film the shoe haul really quickly and then you guys will probably see me tomorrow or this weekend when i am going out with my friends because it's Jalen's birthday this weekend um and it's my birthday i'm next so yeah i will see you guys in a few days or so and again thank you guys so much for all my new subscribers my new followers on instagram all the dms everything thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it it doesn't go unnoticed and yeah you know thanks for supporting the kid because this is crazy i i won't do a lot for y'all but it's worth it so i don't mind <laughs> bye guys